already bought off and paid for. It's not going to happen until the feds do something to intervene. He wants to see evidence. But I've been through this years. The, they're, um, the 911 are scammers and they're uh, dispatching out crooked police every single time. It's not going to happen, period. It hasn't happened in all these years, but they have yet to get their charges. This put my uh, puts my jeopardy at risk. Well, my life at jeopardy. Okay, here's the problem. When I'm getting things done on the phone, mm -hmm. these scammers I'm forced to speak with, giving my credit card information that have already defrauded me out of funds, they spoof my calls. So how do I know it's spoof? Um, I call the FBI, and then I got a call saying that it was going to be a warrant issue for my arrest for calling the FBI reporting crimes, and they said that they were on their way to get them me. So I led, played it to the police department. They said that my calls were spoofed, but would never investigate it. They told me that's why I got that recording. That I'm like not, basically saying that a scammer had called you, and then if you pay the FBI so much money, they'll drop the warrant or do stuff. It didn't like that, say right? that. It said that you um, something about the CIA. Uh, you there's a warrant for your arrest. We'll be out. We'll, uh, we're on our way. But I get things like this. I, I people have you know take me taking me to jail on uh, insanity. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know if it was true. It was terrifying. Because I strange things, I went to jail at Dark Police. Seven police from nowhere took me to jail for, for using transit from nowhere. So I do have all kinds of arrests from nothing. So that was terrifying. But nonetheless, so I called these people. They had me repeat my um, the information over multiple different times in Malice. Then they said sometimes the system refresh. I called years all over the United States trying to flee a domestic violence crisis. They cover for it and leave me in it. And then sometimes want to send out mental health people in Malice. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to that, um, I would try to activate my phone in uh, panic. And this is me trying to activate my phone. So they were playing games with the seller. I gave you my credit card number three or four times in a row. You kept saying talk slower. Then I gave you the expiration date three times. Now your system has refreshed and you need it again. This is all the time. Okay, so I'm desperate trying to activate the cell phone. Can I, can I hear it? Oh, I was going to let you fast forward it. Okay. Uh, Wi-Fi password, ma'am. went outside, gave you the credit card number three. Okay, I was trying to activate a cell phone because my life is very amazing. So it's vital for me to have a cell phone. Okay. So when I tried to activate the cell phone, she hung up. Who who are you trying but to activate the cell phone to? It's, it's a assurance no, wireless. It's a government plan, but I, I'm speaking with several scammers. With service. That's how I help. Now I want you to send it over to the detective, and I, I know can't you can't do nothing it. Over to I know this is a waste of time because you came to cover for crimes, and it won't happen until you come to cover for crimes. It's not going to happen. I don't believe that it'll be investigated. I believe my phone is I'm more than happy to help you with any sort of crime that's been committed or anything like that, right? But I have to have enough to be able to send to them because I can't send them a blank report. They will that's not call the con you. that they use to deny law enforcement. They will not call you. Yeah, that's the con that they have. So they have up all this evidence, all these reports over 100 reports, and the con and felonies, even though it's felony charges, we don't have enough to investigate, but really they're tampering with evidence and denying law Nobody's enforcement. Nobody's tampering with any evidence. No. They are, it is. It okay. is tampering with evidence. That is a felony that's not, charge. That's not the tampering it keeps with my life in jeopardy to repeatedly have police that come, um, by, come uh, that are dispatched out that can't abide by the law. That puts my life at risk. I'm already homeless now, banned from all shelters and corruption, forced to speak with scammers that have been full seven plus years. That puts my life at risk. This is not funny. It's not games. I'm forced into homelessness. This is not safe. Mm -hmm. Something needs to be done. You know human beings should be forced to live like this. Giving my credit card information, the scammers forced year after year to endure this. So the scammers cover up for crimes. 911 hung up in my face multiple different times. A cover for me getting threatened. That's not normal. Mm -hmm. They, my phone would cut off on a whim. I go to the provider. The police department would uh, come there, give me criminal trespasses to cover for it. Multiple different locations to enforce the crimes going on with my phone. But regardless of what the police department wants, these crooked police want, that is criminal to defraud me out of funds, pay, having me pay for phone service. The police department don't want me to have. They don't want me calling the real authentic people. So they enforce me to be on this counterfeit network. They don't have a choice. That's fraud. What counterfeit network? That's, I, don't, I don't understand that, buddy. Okay, well, you're not, you are not, you don't work in cyber crimes. You don't, you're not an investigator. I'm not an identity thief. I can't tell you how they're doing it, but I know that there's something peculiar going on with my phone, and police don't come to anybody's provider. If the police are coming for there to give me a criminal trespass, something serious is going on with my phone that they want to enforce. So for all these years, they're forcing me to get defrauded out of funds and be, be, uh, being violated and my life to be in jeopardy going through everything that I'm going through and forcing all this on me, which is criminal, and yet have not been held accountable. 
So year after year, I'm being defrauded out of funds on, 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 online and hangups, you know, trying to take care of business. No one calling me back for all these years trying to get an attorney. They're starting arguments and won't never call me back. You, I know it's something strange. But here's the problem. I can't get past you guys to do law enforcement because you want to abide by the law. You enforce these crimes on me and haven't had accountability. What crimes do I enforce on you would deny me law enforcement by not sending it over and playing like you have to have enough evidence, How playing that money? game, and then playing being condescending instead of just doing law enforcement. Not even being condescending. I'm okay, well, if questions. someone is doing a report, why don't you do the right thing and send it over to an investigator? I don't so, have because, anything to send to an investigator right now. Because if that's I send, a blatant lie. Okay, let me make sure. Let me, on, let me talk to you for one second before you jump over me. Okay. If I tell them, if I type up a report that says. She said that her phone is being hacked. She's unable to explain how her phone is being hacked. She said that her Uber had changed rates and that she is a, being forced into a part of a counterfeit network. I can tell you what will happen. An investigator will send you a letter that will say, we're not investigating anything. Okay, well, let him do that. So I can have an investigator because I can't, can't come into the I don't have, I, You want help, right? And I would like yeah, to help you. Yeah, the police you. department keeps on committing crimes. And I would I like to it. help you, but you don't want to answer the questions you want to take the narrative that all cops are forcing you into this counterfeit network because you're being stuff. condescending typically you don't have to go back and forth reporting crimes with the police but police enforce that on me years because they came to bully and wipe me out mentally and if you've for spoken crime. to every police officer the way that you've spoken to me then i can guarantee you that they're not going to take any sort of report. None of them. Well, so they are, because of my attitude, they're going to commit Not a felony because of crime? Your attitude, it's because they so, because of my attitude, if they want to commit a felony. No, nope. you're the one that said the attitude. I never did. Okay? I said it's because you do not give them enough information. Okay, to well, go well let me look on the internet and tell you how I didn't do these or I didn't do these. Hold on. If you need to That's know not that. what I'm hold asking. Hold on, hold on. Let me look it I'm up. I'm not asking you how identity theft is an identity theft. Hold on. I don't know how they're doing it, and I got to look it up on the That's internet. That's not what you. I'm asking. How do, how's the identity theft done? You see how I'm trying to talk to you, but you're still going over and talking. According to USA.gov, there are several ways that scammers can... I'm trying to get specific information so that way, if I can type up a report, I'll be happy to type up a report. If you but never you're not giving me never enough defend. information because every time I go to ask a question, you get a little heated, a little worked up about it, upset, and then tell me that I'm not doing my job. Okay. Well, but I'm trying to do my job. Here's the thing. Job. Yeah, I know. Here's the thing, officer. I witness other people that aren't targeted, uh -huh. and they make a report. And the police openly, happily gives them the report number. They don't say, um, yeah, so-and-so was murdered, so-and-so was murdered. How'd they do it? What kind of caliber gun was it? What kind of car was they driving? You know, for information they don't know that typically law enforcement investigates. We will ask that information. We'll ask right, if they have knowledge of it. Right. But here's the thing. Typically, if that person doesn't have the knowledge of it, the police still investigate. But with me, the police use the con is that if you don't know how it's being done, we were, we're going to deny you investigation. A That's crime never is, what I said, did I? Never once did I say anything like that. So you're putting your past experiences with other law enforcement agencies. I just agencies want to get an in investigation now. I'm, I'm pressed for time, sir. I just you're want to. Your I just want to report with that I'm having difficulty. In my mouth, and I'm multiple different apps glitch. I'm trying to ask you enough multiple questions. Multiple different so apps, that way I apps can. glitch and they jeopardize my safety. And the police department has racked up felonies and have had no accountability for it. They come, they're constantly condescending, repeatedly gaslighting and conceal crimes year after year and have not been held accountable for their criminal activity. I think the government is behind this, the crooked government officials, and that's why you refuse to uh, deny investigation. Because they never once refused or denied investigation. Well, I haven't had it in all this time. So I don't know what to do. I'm pressed for time. I just wanted to get an investigation. I still need more information. I still need information that I can take down and put in the little are you willing to help me with that information? Sure. Okay. So let's go down piece by piece. Okay, let's start. It's mine, games. He's never going to investigate it. He's if, a, go ahead. No, I'm just talking to YouTube. Go ahead. We'll see how this goes. Okay. You're talking about your phone being hacked, right? Yes. Okay. How and ways are your, is your phone being hacked? You talked about the lift, the price changing on lift. On all apps, hotels, on everything. It glitches on every single thing. I have a, all the glitches compiled on a YouTube channel that you guys refuse to look at. Okay. I can give it to you if you claim you're not like the other police. And then how else is it being hacked? 
I think that's enough. Um, what else do you need to have for it to happen? It's cut off in emergencies to cover for crimes. My camera cuts off on a whim on its own. It's cut off for emergencies to cover for crimes? Yes, my you, phone has cut. If, for example, if I'm getting attacked, my phone has cut off where I couldn't place emergency calls. Okay. It where, formatted on its own. So where about did you get attacked then? Um, that's at another time, but I'm just talking about how evidence that my phone is hacked. We're talking about another crime. I want to stick to the report I'm trying to do now about my hacked device. Okay, well, aside tangent, even if your phone is disconnected, even if there is a another, like if even if your phone's disconnected, it doesn't have service, you can still call my normal. No, I couldn't. Okay. That's how I know it's hacked. Okay. And then what else? Because you said something else after that one. Okay, so the whole YouTube channel is compiled. My phone will go off on its own. Um, the it'll play things on its own. Sites are altered on their own. Um, like the lift was fifteen dollars to change to fifty six. Hotels do it, defrauding me out of funds left and right. Um, Another different thing is I've called, like I said, all over the United States, which I'm concerned about. These people are starting arguments and won't give me services. They lie and say they're full all over the country, leaving me in jeopardy like this. So what what people are calling, what services are saying they're full? Okay, so what, it, what I believe it is, since you need to know, there's a new age identity theft. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can spoof ingoing and outgoing calls. You can say that one more time. Spoof, spoof ingoing and outgoing calls. Okay. My calls are spoofed. So someone's Be listening in? No, they're listening in too, but someone, they're manipulating my calls and having me speak with counterfeits. So you're calling the correct number and you're speaking with a counterfeit at yes. that point? Yes, yes. Okay. And so this when, puts my safety at risk because I've already had identity theft and it's never been investigated. They threatened to take me to jail in the Dallas police headquarters, six police, and in Dangerfield, it actually arrested me for reporting identity theft. That puts my safety at risk if police refuse to abide by the law and take bribes and keep me in jeopardy. Okay. That no one should have that power to, to abuse. So you're going back to what happened previously I'm, instead no. of me trying to help you right now. But here's okay. the thing. if I'm just, And we're not going to get anywhere if you have this resentment and this hatred for me. I don't understand if you're a good police why you condone someone being arrested for reporting identity theft. If you're a good police, you claim that you are. You okay. should be appalled. I don't know anything about the case that happened between you and Dallas. Right, but I, but I thought right. if you were a good police, you needed to report it. I thought it was a, a, a you had a, a did requirement you make, to report. Did you make a formal complaint to Dallas Police Department on that one? Yes, they wouldn't. They wouldn't do internal affairs. Wouldn't do anything. They cover for it. And threatened to take me to uh, threaten a, a criminal trespass from the um, police department for reporting that I was targeted by multiple different police departments, and they were denying me law enforcement and corruption. So they were leaving me in a substantial they amount were of abuse. Denying you law enforcement and corruption. In corruption, oh, I've had I did right. I've had identity theft, mm -hmm. pickpocketing, hit and run, <coughs> evidence, <coughs> threats, hex phone. What do you mean evidence? Evidence of all this going on. Oh. Yes, Is evidence. Head phone. Hacked phone. Hacked phone. Hacked phone. When you, uh, when you spoke, have you spoken with Uber about, or not Uber, I'm sorry, Lyft? I'm, I'm, we're deflecting on if uh, making a report that you're trying to scam to keep me from making. This is stuff that would have to go into the report. Okay. Right. So have you spoken with Lyft about it? No, I don't know how to speak with Lyft. Do you know how to get them on my phone? Because my phone hides things. It's altered. Have you tried to search them? Let's, you're a police. You want to... If you, you want, I can get. I can even get you the phone number from my phone. Well, uh, we'll check from my phone. I don't know how to use the phone. To be honest. Oh, is it a, just an Apple? Um, it's a Android. Android. I don't know Android very well. Can you get me to the internet? Okay. So, you want Google? There's Google. Okay. And then we'll just type in. But while I'm calling Lyft uh, customer service, does do my I'm enforced. The government's going to enforce that I get defrauded out of funds and not do an investigation for my hacked device. You guys will enforce How it. How am I going to enforce that you get fined? I'm sorry. You said I'm going to enforce your five dollar fine. That's what I get condescending behavior. What this is, is abusive. What is abusive? All right, is the police department going to continue it to cover for my hacked device and leave me on a hack network? My, uh, am I not still here here trying to talk to you? Have I not dismissed you? But you are you going to? You're, you're taking your past experiences and again putting them on me. 
So what happens when I'm mean? reporting crimes, my uh, abuser gets to send his minions out to be low-key psychologically abusive and since they're of my abuser's payroll, they can't do law enforcement. Well, so that leaves me in the so what, what minions? Hold on. What abuser? Do you see me pushing the number for Lyft? I'm sorry. And you're still talking. I ask you to please hold and you won't. Thank you for calling the Lyft gift card hotline. I can't do the buttons if you're talking and I ask you to hold and you refuse. Each officer I, that I'm, when I press pause on my phone, all officers do that. So that's abusive. If well, you, you started narcissistic. a phone conversation right in the middle of us trying to... You, you, you told you me, me to call Liv. You, I asked if you had. I didn't tell okay, you Okay, well, let's call and figure out what's going on since you're covering for crimes. Let's see what's going on. Okay, time I hit stop hitting record and try to get to the list. You said, how am I covering for crimes? How am I going to get anything resolved if each time I stop recording, you're abusive? How am I being abusive? Let me get Lyft on the phone so you can get the evidence that you know you're not going to take. But we have to see how much evidence is needed before you guys get your accountability. Right now, I still don't have a crime that I can write. Right, that's why I'm calling Lyft. I'm just trying to get you guys to get an accountability for your crimes. What is my so I just, well, I'm just trying to see how many patterns is, will equal the numbers for these officers that are taking bribes to leave me in jeopardy. So hold on, let me get the lift. What is my crime? For the balance of your gift card, press 1. For a lost or stolen gift card, press This is for the lift gift card. For additional information regarding the gift card program, well, press gift cards 3. That I found? You put in the information for the lift. You found it. You said there's a number right there, and I pulled I'm it up sorry, with my phone. That's for gift cards. My phone does that all the time. It brings up things that I can't use mm -hmm. and hides the numbers that I need. That's the number you just told me to call, and it's for gift cards. I listen to you. You're police. But my phone does that all the time. I may have pushed the wrong one. No, I mean, I'm not being heard. Customer you guys keep seven for crime. Okay. My, my phone gives me wrong information. I'm happy to talk to you and I'm happy to try to get information with you. But if you're going to keep just accusing me of trying to cover for every crime and stuff like that, I'm not. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm telling you that my pages are manipulated and you said that you probably pushed the wrong information. I'm no, doing I a never report. Said that you pushed the wrong information. I said that I did. Right. You said right. you pushed the wrong information, is what I meant. But I told you my phone was manipulated. I that's what they do. Have not had any accountability. So he just saw evidence my phone was hacked and left with it. Told me to call a number that was for gift cards. So when he saw the crime, he had to leave to cover for it.